grace in your walk with Jesus. And so some cool, cool things going on. It's going to be a great day. I don't know if you know or not, but some people we pray for regularly here have come the long journey to our church from the Czech Republic. So why don't you welcome Jordan City Swain with me. Perfect. Hi, George. Thank you. Uh, they live pretty far away. They live in Prague, and they have been missionaries there. And so I want to give you a chance to kind of hear their heart a little bit about what God's doing in that part of the world. And it's a long way from here. It's even farther than Sri, right? It's that far away. All right. So, George, maybe tell us about the culture and how you're trying to impact the culture there in the Czech. Jeremiah 17, 10 said, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and his trust is the Lord. Uh, we've been in the Czech Republic for 17 years. Uh, the Czech Republic is one of the most atheistic uh, countries in the world. About 80% of the people would say they're atheists. Uh, we've used the Jesus film to try to tell people about Jesus. Some of those people have accepted Christ as their Savior and come together with us to start a church. So we have a church, and uh, God is using us in a lot of ways every day to tell people about Jesus. Uh, I think I've known as a person who, who distributes the Jesus film, person who teaches the Word of God, a uh, person who's happy, and uh, we, we really ask that uh, you would pray for uh, openness to the Gospel. We have a lot of friends, we've shared the Gospel with a lot of, a lot of people, but now that the Word of God would sprout and produce fruit in the lives of these people. Amen. And Cindy, well George too, but they're going to be new grandparents this summer while they're here, baby number two, so that's exciting, but in your ministry there in Prague, as a woman in the faith, as a wife of a missionary, how can we pray for what you're doing there as far as your role goes? Well, we are empty nesters now, all of our boys are in the U.S., and I am involved in the uh, Economic University uh, doing English conversation with women students, and pray that these women would have open hearts. It's a opportunity for us to not just do English but to share our hearts and that our relationship would be a testimony to these young women as they look at us as a couple. Relationships between men and women are not always the best because they're putting other things ahead of the other person themselves and God isn't in the equation. So pray that we would be faithful in our relationships uh, to each other, to other people and that these girls would have open hearts. Amen. And if you are interested, the Swains are going to be, where are going to be next hour? I'm not even sure. You're going to be in Faith Builders ABF room 421. So you want to hear a little more what's happening in the check? They'll be there next hour. You can drop in. Why don't you stand up, say hi to some friends, say, I don't know about you, I've never been in the check, but I want to go. And thank you for being here. <laughs>